All kinds of weird and abstract designs can be created using neural filters and the landscape mixer. This design was created using a pattern from a very basic image. So let's just undo that. And here's the original. I've got this image here. Now I'm not going to use this image per se. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over here and use the rectangular marquee tool. Now this was created using a gradient tool. You can use any image, any image can be used and you can select it, select part of it. Just create a rectangle, then go to edit and down to define pattern. That adds it as a pattern preset. Now you can also use the library feature to create patterns. That's another option. This is a very quick way of creating a pattern. And it doesn't matter, it's going to be seamless or not seamless. So select and deselect. Now I'm going to use the same document. Just go to layer and new fill layer and down to pattern. So pattern, click OK. And you can see it always, as always, defaults to the first one. Here's the pattern I've just created. You can see the basic design there. Again, it can be anything, type, images, and gradients. And you can change the size. You can go with 100%, but you can also set it to say 10. And you can create a design like that, or maybe 30, maybe, maybe not so small. You can also, of course, change the angle if you wish and click OK. What I'm going to do, layer and flatten image. So I'm just going to flatten it. I can always undo to come back and create some variations if I want to. And also I can go filter and maybe stylize an oil paint or maybe one of the blur effects. So just create a slight blur, well, just lighting, turn that off and blend this. And you've got a nice smeary design. Go back to the original image and you can see that there now. Go to filter and neural filters. Go here, landscape mixer, and then just go here. Just that turns it on. It's see, it's a beta, so it might change. You might come across a version slightly different. And you've got some presets. They're really good. You can click on those and apply. And they're really impressive as well. And you can see the result. But you can also go to custom. And you can select that image. So I've got that untitled one. And you can see it there, untitled one. And you can see a preview of it. And that's the result. That's what it does. I have no idea how or why it works there. It looks like it adds some very abstract plants or I'm not certain what it does, but it creates the weirdest of shapes from that basic design. And of course, you could use any image as a great start point. And you can modify the strength. You don't have to go full on. So you can put it down to say 10 or 20. So you can get very subtle change and you can see it just coming through there but you can also set it to 100 you can also modify the day as well as night the night seems to just basically make everything very dark but go for day and then you can see the result even odder or go for spring now i have no idea what it means with spring or summer but it does modify it slightly and then just click ok for some weird reason, there seems to be, I think, a bug. It creates a selection. I'm not certain why it does that. Maybe that's a feature of the plugin. Sometimes it creates it, sometimes it doesn't. But you can always get rid of it, select and deselect. And you've got your design there. You can also go to filter and neural filters. Just apply it again. And that will create an additional effect. And you can see the result there. Really creates the oddest imagery from that original. Now you could combine the original image as well as this. But also what you can do, you can actually use this as a source for a new pattern. So simply go over here, rectangle and marquee tool again, exactly the same as before. Select that and think, oh, you know what? That area looks really great. No idea what it is, but I'm just gonna select that area. I'm gonna use that as a pattern. So edit and define pattern. And I'm just going to store it away. Click OK. So it's a great point to just manipulate further and explore. 
So select and deselect, or just I'm going to undo. I want to obviously use the original, so let's just go all the way back, undo all those. You don't have to, of course. You could maybe just use this and continue on from there. But undo, I'm just going back to the original image. With that, go to this document, and you can see now I could, of course, use this one. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Edit, and again, Fill. You could, of course, use other patterns. So you could got pattern there. You can go for script. So you could use maybe random fill. Just click there and you've got a whole range of options. Symmetry fill, really, really great designs. So let's just try that one, explore. So click and then select that one. So you're selecting that, you've got that and symmetry fill, click OK. And you can see what happens. You get this lovely spiral sort of design, dilated, rotate, depending on, there's a load, 32, 32 different ones. I always love this one, seven. Number seven is my favorite. Pattern scale, put it to the max. And you can modify the settings, the transitions, you change it, and it will result in a different design. Click OK, and there's the design I'm gonna use. You could again go to filter and stylize, maybe oil paint, or maybe filter, blur, and motion blur, just a subtle blur to it. Click OK. Maybe image auto tone, just to change it. You don't have to, but this time I've got a lovely blue and yellow, blue and yellow design. Go back to the original image. Here's the image there. Go to filter and neural filters again. I know there's a few steps backwards and forwards. Unfortunately, you could of course create all these designs in this other document, maybe create multiple documents. You don't have to just create one. So you could have 15 of these documents. Again, go here to creative section and click there. We've got beta, it's now turned on. Go to custom, go to select image, and again, let's say this list could be 50. I don't know if there is a limit, how many you can put in there. Select it. The one pity with this, I would love to see a little image, a little thumbnail in this, because untitled, unless you title everything, you just can't see. So there it is, that's what's happened. It's processed it, and you can see the result it creates a very unusual design. Now it seems to have introduced some very strange artifacts here along that pavement. Also, you've got some weird, I oh, have no idea. And again, you can still use day. So let's just change that. And that will modify it slightly, brightens it up. And that creates a sort of golden look, brighter day. And again, night, just try it out. Night always seems to generally reduce it to less dark. I think it's always, even at a low setting, so I, I've never set it up, to, if I put it up to 100, let's see what happens. I suspect it just goes completely black. Oh no. So you create, create some weird sort of, hmm, very strange. Very impressive as well, very nice, I love that. Let's just go with this though, click OK. So again, you can then go to filter and neural filters, just play again just repeats it, exactly the same settings. And you can see the result there, sort of smudgy effect, but it creates a very interesting painter effect, which would be very hard to achieve just using your standard tools. And again, if you want to, at any point, again, you've got this selection around it. I don't know why it does that. You can select parts of the image, though there's not particularly a vast amount to actually select here. Maybe that, and then again, edit, and define pattern. And you can see the approach. Just create multiple copies, create pattern designs. Again, you just go to file and new, maybe not that size, create, and again, edit and fill and create a new design, just using that pattern instead. So you can build up literally thousands of patterns. Click OK, and you can see the design there. Click there, and you can see that design. Also, if you want, another option is window and libraries. So you can bring up libraries. It's the library panel. Go down the bottom, got libraries there, and there's a little plus. And you've got extract, extract from image. And you can see you've got design there, and you can create all kinds of amazing pattern designs. And you can see as you zoom into that, you can see the design there, that's the end result. This is the actual pattern tile. Save to CC library. You zoom in even more, save to CC library, literally create thousands of pattern designs using this approach. And you can see the design there. Again, save. Once you're happy with that, click close, 
and you can then use those if you want. So just drag that over, you've got your pattern design there. Or just use this, up to you of course. Again, back to the original image, let's just undo, just go back right to the start, filter, neural filters, and then you can see again, let's say there's a few steps, but put that on, custom, select image, and set that one instead. And you can see the result then. Takes a few seconds to process. And creates, again, more unusual designs. And click OK. And again, always edit and fade neural filters, because you can always fade it as well. So if you don't like the full on effect, you might like to say, oh, let's just change your opacity. So it just creates very subtle change, opacity 30% creates a subtle change to that street. Or maybe go for blend modes, go for darken, linear burn, darker color, just try them out, scream. All kinds of different designs can be created using this approach. Hard mix, perhaps not everyone's favorite, but I like that effect, nice threshold effect, color and everything, brilliant. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. How are you using this landscape mixer? Do you find it really great? I think it's a brilliant, brilliant tool for all kinds of really, truly weird creative designs. Abstract designs anyway. Perhaps not so useful for some things, but it's great for create, adding obviously flowers, foliage and snow, but it can be used for a lot more. Because of course, another thing, once you've got this image, you can always go and use the ones that are the presets. So neural filters, and you've got the snow. Don't have to just keep it like that. You could go and then use snow. Takes a few seconds to process again, and you can see you create a very radically unusual image. Click OK. Thank you much.